We have to go to school now, so we have to take our vitamins. For Sharla and her daughter Syra, it's a daily routine, a chewable multivitamin before heading off to school in the morning. If there's um, not something that they're getting in their day, as far as in their food, then um, I feel good knowing that um, they're getting it through their vitamins. And it's big business. Americans spend around $35 billion each year on dietary supplements and vitamins. Unlike medicines, which must be shown to be safe and effective before receiving government approval, supplements can be sold freely. They only risk being banned if they're found to be unsafe. Their effectiveness is left up to those who take them. We have people that are coming in here, they've been using vitamins since the, you know, probably the, the 50s or 60s. And they know if something's working or not. Uh, for myself, I usually give myself kind of a month test. I start taking something. If I don't notice anything, um, then I just decide not to take it. Stepping inside a vitamin store like this one in Berkeley, California, you're immediately struck by the vast selection on offer. From bone health, dietary supplements to broccoli sprout antioxidants, the promises of a healthier and more energized life. The thing is, though many of these claims have little in the way of scientific evidence to back them up. If swallowing dietary supplements and vitamins is not your thing, there's also the intravenous option, a $175 infusion of multivitamins and minerals straight into your bloodstream. When you see it in action, that I know that the medicine is working. You know, I can see it that day, hear the, my patient's testimonials. I don't need the research study to tell me. But for Dr. John Schwartzberg, who's spent his career researching and writing about vitamins at the University of California, Berkeley, the widespread use of multivitamins is misguided and possibly dangerous. They're taking these pills on a daily basis when they have no idea and there's no science to support whether it's safe or efficacious. So a big experiment is being done by Americans on themselves based upon almost no good science. Some say if the supplements do no harm, then no harm's done by taking them. But without proof of any positive health benefits, there's a strong case for spending instead on something packed with minerals and vitamins and proven to be good for you. Quality, fresh food. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera, Berkeley, California.